I'm going to apologize in advance because this video is not the most well thought out, well edited, well filmed video that I've ever done. I promise you, I swear to you, that I can do better. Stress is everywhere. Oh, this setup is not good. Hello. I'm sorry. One, because this video is late. As you can tell from the intro and also from the way I'm looking, I'm very, very stressed out. These last couple weeks have been kind of crazy. I've kind of had a lot going on. Tried to be on top of YouTube, but we know I'm not the best at that. It's been a long day. It's currently 11 p.m. on a Tuesday night, and I really need to be studying and sleeping and taking care of every aspect of my mental health that I've ignored. But welcome to high school. Here I am. So this was filmed a few days ago, <laughs> and I just never got around to filming an intro for it, so here I am. Um, I'm really sorry you guys that I didn't get a video up. Started a new job not too long ago. Finals are coming up for the end of the semester. If you're a high school student going through finals right now, or a college student going through finals right now, I sympathize with you. I empathize with you. It sucks. I'm so sorry. We're gonna get through it. Anyway. This week's video was inspired by my skin. Um, I've been breaking out so much because of hormones and stress and oh my gosh. Not sleeping in Island, Minnesota where it is so cold. I don't know why people live here. My skin gets horribly dry and everything about me just shuts down in the winter. So today I'm gonna be showing you three moisturizing and clearing face masks that I found online because my skin has been so dry and breaking out a lot. Link the recipes that I found in the description box below. Gotta give credit to the people who created these recipes. Using all natural ingredients. All of these things are supposed to be really good for moisturizing your skin naturally. Actually all helped like a lot. Two first ones that I made were like moisturizing masks and they were actually really nice. Like my skin felt super soft after and even like the day after it still felt pretty moisturized. So like I recommend those two. Third one is a clearing, what is it, coconut oil, tea tree oil, um, baking soda, I don't know, I missed like half of the recipe. <laughs> um, I just used what I had, but that one is for clearing up your skin if you are acne prone like me. It's the longest, this is the longest intro ever, I'm so sorry, I hate when people do this, why am I becoming that person? Here are the recipes, I hope you like them. To start out this recipe, you're gonna need one banana and one peeled avocado. Anyway, you're just gonna wanna pop the pit out of that and mash the avocado up. And then we're gonna use just a thick slice of a papaya. Mine looks really weird, just ignore it. Okay, get a normal papaya. <laughs> After you have the banana, avocado, and papaya, you just want to mush everything up with your hands and then you can leave it like that or to get it more smooth, you can put it into a blender, which is what I did, and then you're all set to put it on your face. I feel like I'm putting like, like rubbing puke on your face. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like perfect timing. It's time for a taste test. That's not bad. It tastes like banana baby food. Let's not eat it. <laughs> no, I already did. <laughs> so it's gonna look like you have some uh, dookie on your face. So uh, now you just wanna go wash that off. Onto the second mask, you're gonna wanna take another large slice of papaya and mash that up. I didn't make as much as the recipe called for, so I just did about a tablespoon or three of yogurt and then some honey and lime, but you can follow the recipe exactly, it's in the description box. And then you just want to mix that up and it's ready to apply. Oh, there's chunk. This is kind of ironic because dairy is supposed to be really bad for your skin, but putting it on your skin is good. What? Yeah, like consuming dairy is supposed to be bad for your skin. It's on for 10 minutes. All right, lastly for the face wash, you're gonna need baking soda, coconut oil, and tea tree oil. There's a bunch of other oils you can add to, but I just did this. You're gonna need a couple tablespoons of coconut oil, and then you just wanna pop that in the microwave to melt it. And after you do that, you wanna add about a teaspoon of baking soda and a few drops of tea tree oil. And tea tree oil is really good for clearing your skin along with the baking soda. Now you're just gonna wanna put that into an empty container and store it in the fridge to use it as a face wash. Thank you so much for watching this recipes. If you give any of them a try, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up anyway because I don't have a good reason, just please do. <laughs> so make sure to comment down below what videos you want to see. I saw that on Instagram, a bunch of you guys wanted me to do a truth or dare video. So for next week's video, I'm thinking a truth or dare video. So if you want to comment some truths and dares, 
go right ahead. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down there if you have not already. Unless you didn't enjoy this video, then I'm really sorry. You don't have to come back. Mwah! Bye. Also, shout out to Lauren, Jet, and Elijah for helping me film and make these face masks. Um, you guys are awesome. I love you. Follow them on Instagram. The links are in the description box below. Okay, bye. <laughs>